Now we want to start solving an exercise about binary files. First of all, we want to make this structure that has the name employee and the following members. Okay? So first of all, type def struct and it's called employee and it has the following members int id and a string name so char name suppose it's maximum 15 characters so one more for the backslash zero we have a category which is a character so char category like this we have a double salary and a double tax right and as you see the category can be a or b or c and the tax will be calculated according to the category and you will see this in a little bit so we want to write a function called the create employee to create an employee we can return this employee or pass it by reference I don't care in this case let's pass it by reference so this function will return nothing and it's called the create employee and to make the name better let's call this fill employee so we are taking an employee and filling it all right so we'll take an employee e and this employee should be passed by reference right in order to fill it inside the function now let me rename this so over here fill employee okay now over here we have our employee and want to fill it so let's print f enter let's say id name and now the category as you know the category can be a or b or c so to read it we're going to use a loop until we get a correct value so over here I will not say to enter the category right then the seller so like this and the tax is based on the category and the seller so we will calculate it in a little bit so now we want to scan off an integer which is the ID a string which is our name and a double which is the seller so the integer will be stored inside the address of E and I'm going to use the arrow then ID right because e over here is a pointer to a structure so we dereference it using the arrow so the id i'm taking its address and i'm storing the value inside it perfect now also i want to store the name in e name and the double in the address of e salary all right so now we have our values now let's get the category so printf enter category it can be a b c all right so let me remove this put this over here and let's continue so i'm going to use a do while loop so let's say do and while i want to keep reading the category as long as it is different than a and different than b and different than c so while e i'm going to access the category is different than a and it should also be different than b and c so over here i will say the category is different than B and it's different than C okay so when the category is A or B or C this loop will finish executing so inside we want to read the category so let me move this printf inside this loop to print it every time and we now want to scan off a character and let's put a space over here in order to avoid problems and want to store it in the address of E category right now the category is done we still have the tax so over here we want to calculate the tax based on the category so if the category is a the tax is equal to 10 percent of the salary so if e category equals a then e tax is equal to 10 percent so 0 0.1 multiplied by the salary so e salary all right now I'm going to copy this and over here I will say else if E category is equal to B then the tax is 15% of the salary so 0 0.15 and finally I will say else so this means that the category is C so the tax is 20% of the salary so E tax is equal to 0 0.2 multiplied by the salary alright so we took an employee and we filled his information now when we finish let me print up for example backslash n backslash n alright so great job this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one